You don't get these. Are you okay? Are you okay? No. You don't get this. Okay? This is daddy's. Okay? Okay? Other side. She's watching her. She's so fake. She's like her mother. Fake. Are you fake? Yeah. I'm sure you can hear that rain. <sighs> it wasn't raining that bad when I left the house. I actually have a video shoot today at church at this place called the Henry Center. I think I mentioned it before, but it's a place that our church runs to help uh, families in need with clothes, food, some help with utilities, furniture, all free for the community. So we're gonna do like, a, we just wanna do a video that shows uh, the rest of the congregation that we can show on like a Sunday and put on our Facebook page, just sort of reminding people what we do over there because uh, they're getting low on donations and funds. So I'm gonna head over there and Hopefully this rain lets up because I don't want to take all my gear out in the rain because I got both of the cameras. I'm going to use the 60D Mark II, the 5D Mark IV, and then I got a, a light and a few other different things that I'm bringing in, some tripod. Mostly going to be B-roll, but I'm going to do some interviews as well and then, you know, run those as A-roll and then just B-roll, mostly B-roll on top of it though. I don't, I want it to be more about what's going on in there. It's going to be a tricky shoot though because I don't want to, today, they're only open on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Today's Thursday. And I don't want to shoot. Obviously, I don't think people that are coming there want to be involved in a video. It's going to be an interesting shoot, shooting the B-roll to make sure I don't get people's faces. And uh, I had a thought about doing a lot of like hands, showing hands and different feet and maybe from the back, different people, stuff like that. So I'm going to have to get creative, which I like. So let's see how this goes. I feel like a lot of vlogs have been in the car lately. I'll have to get out of the car eventually. The weather is a lot nicer now. It's been a few hours since I was at the Henry Center filming. I didn't film a great deal. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back there a few different times to try to get some different stuff. I interviewed one person. There's two or three other people I'd like to interview. And then a little bit more B-roll. By the time I got in and did some B-roll in one area, people were coming in and you just don't wanna, people are there to get you know, help because they're in a bad situation. I don't believe they would want to be filmed. It left, you know, some areas that I couldn't do much B-roll in because people were there. And even like I said, I was going to try to do some non-invasive stuff, just like hands. And it's still difficult because you're walking around with a camera. And I mean, it's just, it's not a good situation. So I need to think about really how I'm going to do this a little bit more. I have some ideas, uh, but we'll see how that goes later. But for now, I'm heading home. Shannon's got work tonight, of course, and Sawyer's got basketball practice, so I'll get him over to that. I got something that came in the mail the other day that I need to break out and show you guys. It's been in my backpack forever, uh, well, for about a week, and I want to show you guys. It's a uh, very cool... So when I was going to, when I was at lunch today, I keep my AirPods on my belt loop, on my pants. And I hadn't used them in a couple days and I'm sitting there at lunch and I put my phone up and I'm missing one. I'm not gonna focus on it. So I'm missing one. So then I remember, I'm like, oh crap, the other day at work I was using one and I had it in my pocket. So I just went into the laundry, didn't find it in the washer and dryer and then went to the jeans that I had wore the other day and they were already hanging up and this was in there, which means it was washed and dried. So the test is gonna be, I'm gonna take this one out. And the test is gonna be, will it start charging? Well anyways, look, it is actually charging. It will not focus, there you go. So it's actually charging this one. I don't know if it's actually it's gonna work once it's charged, but I'm gonna leave it in there for a little bit and cross my fingers. The last set that I had of these, the same problem, uh, I left the whole thing in my pocket and my wife found it 
and I think I wish she would have dried it, but she found it in the wash and took it out. I have a feeling if she would have dried it, maybe they would have been okay, but they were dead. It was actually, the case itself was still okay, but the actual ear pods uh, no longer would take a charge or whatever. They just didn't work. Let's see if it works real quick. It actually works. I just heard it connect. That's crazy. Let's see. Hold on. Sounds good. So I read today that Apple was going to, that the next generation was going to have like Hey Siri. And then they said, I think it, they were saying the next generation after that was going to be waterproof or water resistant. So it's already slightly water resistant. It's only at 37%. So while I got you guys here, this is what came in the mail that I was talking about earlier. This is from one of my favorite companies in the world, Nomad. This is their USB type C cable. It's one meter long. It does 4K HD video, 100 watt output, rugged nylon, military spec 4K flex test. But it's USB type C to USB type C. So what I like this for, look at this thing. I mean, come on now. Their packaging's on point. So it's 20 gauge which is what that is up there. Four times poly, poly me, mead, co, central core, uh, RF, two times RF shield, two times thick moisture barrier, rugged 500D nylon, high speed. This is USB 3.1 Gen 2. So data speeds up to 10 gigabytes in 4K HD video, flex tested, made, for USB Type-C phones, tablets, and other USB Type-C MacBook and MacBook Pro. Full speed charging enabled when using USB Type-C and Apple Original Wall Charger. USB 2.0 data transfer, 60 watt power transfer. So that's what I'm going to be using this for, is for my MacBook Pro charger. Um, it just has the flimsy Apple cable, and I really wanted something with some, some heavy dutiness. Uh, that I could keep in my bag that isn't, you know, just the standard Apple one. But, I mean, look at the... Please don't... Please don't focus on my face. I mean, it's just... It's beautiful quality. Nomad makes great products. I mean, if you're new to the channel, maybe you haven't seen me look at, like, damn near everything they've ever made. Literally, on my desk right now, or on my nightstand, is the Nomad... Uh, that puck charger so it's at night I wirelessly charge my iPhone 10 and then I also plug in my uh, iPad Pro and I still have what four other or three other ports that I could use Hi. Hi. <laughs> I keep the um, Hi. USB type C to lightning connected to the fast charger so if I ever need a quick charge for my phone I can just plug it into that one Hi. Then I have a regular lightning cable plugged into a USB so I can charge my iPad Pro overnight. Doesn't need a quick charge for overnight. And then I have my... Shut your face. Shut your face. And then my, um, my iPhone 10 just sits on top wirelessly charging. Sawyer's got practice in a little while, but I think I'm going to edit a couple of the pictures that I took today at the Henry Center. Um, I asked a few people if I if they would allow me to take their photographs, so I think I'm going to um, edit those. I imagine them black and white, but I'm going to take a look at them and see. Uh, and then I'll probably dump that footage, get it on my hard drive, so that way I have it and I can clean off my cards. But like I said, I got some pretty decent footage. It's going to take a couple more trips there, and then hopefully I come back on a nice day and I can use a drone, get some outside shots, some establishing shots. So yeah, so I think that's going to be it for this video. Not much going on today, but uh, I'll sign off now. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe, you can do that down below. And just an FYI, I've been using the tripod uh, Mikey got me, Mike Tech Examined, uh, all day today for the vlog. And I'm actually using it right now on my desk. And I'm really, really liking it. So thanks again, Mikey. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, that was yesterday's video. We will talk to you guys tomorrow. Say bye. Your hand's not big enough. <laughs> Say deuces. Now put your hand over it. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. No. Now you're just gumming up the lens.